So this is our experimental HHO generator. I guess this was the first, second, second working prototype. Working only for a few hours before it exploded. So I'm going to show you a few things so you don't build the same thing and have the same thing happen to you. So this was on my kitchen table. And you can see we had a sight glass. Well, that blew apart. Top and bottom blew off. One of the electrodes, which was stainless steel, probably about a 24 gauge, ripped apart. Wires pulled off, which were crimped and soldered. Um, for the electrodes, for the posts going in, we did not use stainless steel bolts because we were in a hurry. So we just grabbed some small bolts and we used crimp on connectors. But we did solder them, but we did not succeed getting silver bearing solder to stick. So this unit was running in the house on the kitchen table and uh, decided to crank it up to 12 amps instead of 2 and it was putting out very good through a 3 8 hose it was bubbling steadily almost a steady stream but it popped so the reason why we think it did blow up was because of our terminals our connections this one like I said only ran for a couple hours maybe three at the most you can see that this bolt and nut we used is corroded, very corroded already. So maybe when I switched it from 2 amps to 12 amps, it didn't have a very good connection and it arced. And maybe the water level was lower, so it arced into the gas and blew it apart. Very big boom. I'm lucky still have windows in my house. So if you're building an HHO generator, use stainless steel, or preferably do not use crimp on or any connections that are going to be out of the water, otherwise you could have the same problem.